think you're a valid. You're gonna die here in America too, by the most High himself. Uh, because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. And that's what we're waiting on, judgment. Until the most High Yahweh Fai Shem Yahweh Shai executes judgment on you people, man. And reestablishes the kingdom, the nation of Israel, Yahshua Allah. And, uh, and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light. And, I and he's going to bring us forth to the light. And then you're going to see that, like it says in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, how you people had uh, walked all over us and uh, slandered us, gossiped behind our backs, gave us evil looks. Right? Y'all going to look at us when we're in that day when we're brought to the light. And you're going to be like, this was him. He was the one that was numbered amongst the saints. And you're going to be like, why wasn't I? Because there was nothing good about you. Because you looked at yourself as being somebody good. Us brothers out here, we know we're nothing. And we can tell every single one of you people, we know we're nothing. We all deserve to die. But for some reason, you people, y'all act like y'all should be lit, be alive. Go ahead. Um, he shall bring me, he will, he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Right, and we're gonna behold his righteousness. Y'all gonna behold him as evil. We're gonna behold him as being, doing righteous judgment, man. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. Then, you're, then you women, who are who are our enemy, you're gonna see it. Because we know our women that we've been with prior mock at us when we tell them that they're gonna be destroyed and America's gonna be destroyed. Don't y'all understand that that kingdom's fall, man? There's not one kingdom that's been upon the earth since the creation, the beginning of time, that is still in, in, in a uh, power. The, 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 uh, the kingdom of Babylon. Where's the kingdom of Babylon at? Where's the great kingdom of Egypt at? The great kingdom of Egypt, man. Where's it at? America's gonna be the same way. It's gonna come Works. to an extinction. It says, then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her which said unto me. And shame's gonna cover the land. Shame is going to cover you women, you men, because of your great abomination and because Ezra said your great pride. The Mosai hates pride, man. There's nothing good, there's nothing humble about you women. What is this? There's a scripture that said, though she uh, make, she changes her face, her, her eyes, as she stares at you with an, uh, an impudent face, don't be taken by it, man. That she tries to look at you as her being innocent, as her being pure. I've, I've experienced that expression right here. with my baby's mom, man. And she's the most wickedest woman I've ever met in my life. This is Proverbs 6 to 24. To keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery that start up a little like. Okay, I'll start up the scripture. Uh, six and twenty-three, Proverbs six and twenty-three. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. For the commandment is a lamp. Right, the commandment is a lamp. The commandments are a guide for you to see between evil and good. And the law is light, and reproof of instruction are the way of life. And the reproof of instructions in the way of life. So why do you, why is it that you don't believe in what anything that us us men read from the Bible? Man? These scriptures are for reproof and correction. It doesn't matter how it's brought out. Even if we're out here speaking softly, you still won't listen. Says to keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. To keep you from an evil woman Go. and the flattering of a strange woman. Go ahead. Lust, lust not after her beauty in thine heart, in thine heart. Neither let her take thee with her eyelids. 
neither let her take you with her eyelids. That's why these women, they like to put a bunch of makeup on. And, and we're going to tell you what real quick. Makeup is a form of witchcraft. Because it's a manipulation of your true appearance to deceive a man. I've experienced where I've, I've dealt with a woman in, in my past time where she had makeup on and the next morning she looked like death. Yeah, yeah. She looked horrible, man. Makeup is a... Putting makeup, cosmetics, is a form of witchcraft, man. You got that one Ecclesiastes? Go ahead. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 8, verse 8. Or I mean chapter 9, verse 8. Take, turn away that eye from a beautiful woman, and look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. Right, many have been deceived by the beauty of the woman, man. It's like America, the... America tries to make itself appear as a beautiful uh, 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 government, country. Man, when you come living in here, there ain't nothing beautiful about it, man. Nothing. There's other cities that are worse than San Angelo. The, the, the slums, man, the ghettos, the vadios. Over here, they, they, we don't even have a ghetto, man. So you oh. Negro Latinos, why the hell are you acting like you're from a bigger city where you really tr truly experience poverty? Criminal, true cr criminal activity at a daily basis. Hey, but because you want to look after that, y'all want to follow after uh, wickedness and deception, you're going to be destroyed. And y'all, y'all, y'all are so dumb, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all let yourselves, y'all turn it, y'all giving yourselves over to a weak thing, man. Y'all giving yourselves over to a weak thing. The most I allowed that, though. It says, for many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman, for here with love is kindled as a fire. And, a, and another thing real quick too, man, again, about the whole beauty thing, because like the bus say, you know, what came to mind, that movie Orphan, remember that, that, that chick, that girl, she was, oh, a, yeah. she was a killer. She was a little girl. But she was actually like, she was actually a grown woman, but she had a, she, was fucking she had a ugly. disease. Yeah. A disease where it stunned her growth, and she still appeared as a, a a little child, but she, at the same time, she had the mentality of a woman, man. And if you, if you, if you even watch it towards the end, before she's contemplating about killing that, uh, the father, it'll show you she goes in her room, her demonic vibration room, and she takes out her teeth. She takes off her makeup. She looks raggedy. Yeah, that's, that's America, yeah, man. That's America. It's exactly. showing you. That you, that you fell in love with this, this crack face looking woman. A bunch of beat up teeth, a beat up vagina. That's the woman y'all all love, America. That great whore that opens her legs to anybody. And you yourself are commit, are commit, are commit a, a disgusting adultery. That's why this place, and, uh, and again, man, to you women, that's why your beauty in that day, man, is not going to save you. The scriptures say that uh, a, a, a horrible stench will come out of thee, a stink. <laughs> yeah, we'll get it out. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 3, verse 16. Moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and minting as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. Careless women, that's what that's what y'all are. For, uh, when we brought out uh, uh, Isaiah. Well, remember that day when we were sitting at the apartment and those chicks from upstairs that were coming down with their high yeah, heels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, and yeah. that's exactly what it's talking about, with like mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. Yep. They click, clack, click, click, click. When they go down the stairs, yep. they walk down the sidewalk, all you hear with them heels is, is, is a, that click clacking, man. Yep. And it makes you look. And, and you and you think you hold yourself up as a beautiful, as a, as a as a, 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 a an adoring type woman. But the most I and us men, we know how when you women dress like that, what y'all want, man. And the most I says right here, Isaiah three and seventeen. Therefore, the Lord will smite thee with a scab, the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. <laughs> That's why, that's why you, 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 uh, that's why you women, you, the majority, excuse me, we're preaching the truth of the Bible, uh, condemning this place.
place called America and everything that, that is against the scriptures. Now, uh, as I was walking by, I was curious to see what all are. Messages that America is going to be destroyed in two thirds of these people on the side. All, the, all these people, they're going to die. I'm going to scripture real quick. Is it Matthew chapter 10, verse 5? These 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right, and that's what we preach. And our message is only to these, well, yeah, to the 12 tribes, but 100. Go these ahead. are the lost sheep of the house of Israel, these 12 sons of Jacob, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Judah, uh, uh, Zebulon, Ephraim, and so on and so forth. So that's who we're coming out here for. The true people of the Most High, which are the Negroes and the Latino Native American Indian people. We are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. But you have to go, the only way you can fall into this category. Yeah, we're we're here. We're here every. Oh well, I don't know. I don't know how much aware of you are as far as y'all. No, we've, we've done our research, man, so we know what we're talking. No, 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 no. no. Okay, don't go ahead, go ahead. Finish no, no, what you're no, saying. I'm just okay. saying, you know. I'm not. I let me direct. Let me direct her. With, speak with me. What, what is it? Uh, so I don't know. Y'all do No. You asked us what we're out here. We're told you we're out here to uh, bring in the elect. Uh -huh. We're only out here for the elect of Israel. No one else is going to be saved. The Nobody elect. else. Only the only the elect. Let, let, let me let me speak. Only the elect of the nation of Israel are going to be redeemed. Uh, uh, okay? okay. And we're out here to tell oh, okay. truth. So only the elect will be redeemed. The scriptures tell you that. With the world called Jesus Christ, He tells you who's coming back for the elect. Right. Go ahead, read that scripture for me. This is First Corinthians 14 and 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches, uh -huh. for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience as laws of such a law. As if law say, they find the law. Mijo, go back in the, in, the, in the suburban. I'll be right there. Go ahead and keep reading. Now. Okay, what, 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 is, what is that? Right read, there, the law? Read it again, read it again. One more time. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Right, so Paul is giving the Corinthians, the, the, the elect men and women in the, in, the, in the city of Corinth, a commandment. Go ahead, read it again. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them it's to not speak. not permitted them to speak. So you, we're, it, we're giving you a little bit. But if you want to learn anything, your, your husband has to come over here. Go ahead, go ahead. It says, and if they will learn anything, if they learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. Right. For it is a shame for women to speak in the church. Go ahead. What, can the word of God out from you? Did the word of God come from you? No, it didn't. It came to men. Go get that. Get that in uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 1. According to law, the law is Let me stop you real quick. Be careful of what you speak because the scriptures say prove all things after the scriptures. Isaiah 8 and 20. Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this light, there is there, there is no light in you. You got to speak according to the truth. Read it again. Let me, look, come back. We'll, get Romans, get Romans chapter, uh, what is it, 5? Where it says that we uh, yeah, yeah, make yeah. known the law. Or that's why. That's why we're speaking about women, man. Because women think they know. You women do not know. Okay, you're set up to deceive your children and to rebel against your husbands. Man. Go ahead and get that one in Romans, Romans if you know where seven. it's at. Romans seven. Right. Where it says the woman under the law. No, 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 no. This one. Else. Uh, oh, this is Romans chapter 3, verse 19. Now we know that what thanks soever the law say, it saith to them who are under the law, who were given the law, man. 
Who was given the law, statutes, and commandments? The nation of Israel. Nobody else was. Now, is the law itself going to deliver you? No. You got to have faith. But you got to have faith and works mingled together. You can't nitpick what you want out of the Bible, you women. That's why the Lord don't deal with women because you're weak. Now, get that in uh, Proverbs 8. Proverbs 8 and 4. Start at verse 1. Proverbs 8 and 1. Does not wisdom cry and understand it put forth her voice? Right. So does not this Bible, when you open it, it's already crying and put forth her voice, man. But to those that have understanding, this book, what did Ezekiel tell the most? What did most I tell Ezekiel? Or what did Ezekiel see when he got received that scroll? He said it was on the boat, on the front and the back side of that parchment was a, a written lamentations, woes, and mourning, man. Read it again. Does not wisdom cry and understand it put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places, by the way in the places of the path. She cried at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in, at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call. Unto you, O men, he calls, man. He didn't say, unto you women, I call. You women don't got no business trying to read the Bible or trying to preach to another man. That's why she walked away, because first she wasn't having it, but also at that, she can't deal with what we're about to put on her. That spirit, that demon that was on her, already knew it was about to get heated. Right. Right, and, and real quick, you brothers, if y when y'all watch, y'all see that's a spirit right there, man, because we're speaking about these women's attitudes, how they hold themselves up. And that was a perfect example, because what she say that she would, she knows the Bible, or she, she proclaims she has the knowledge. Or that, and that most I called out to other women too. And we just got done telling you that that's why you're gonna be destroyed. Cause like the scripture say in First Corinthians, what can the word of God out of you? Like she, really? And she said yes. <laughs> the most I don't deal with you women, man. That's why, man, you, you damn women. That's why, man, y'all. I'm. We'll get it back again in Luke. That's why the scripture say, man, that or, or in Isaiah that horrible and or troubles and horrible pains gonna come to you in that day. Because y'all hold yourself so pure, man. You women, and, and you women are, are wicked. Wicked, man, to the point, as much as, as much as Esau, man, to where they believe, like, they believe they can do, like, oh, what does it say? Oh, uh, Ecclesiasticus, where it says that the, uh, the wickedness of a woman is but little to her. Yeah. Because she's so incredibly wicked, and she sees it as a light thing when she does little wickedness. That's a, a wicked spirit. Like the person a Jezebelian Semiramis yeah, spirit. A, yeah, a Jezebel. Yep. They, uh, what, what's that word, man? How you say it? Uh, they indulge themselves in all that wickedness. Like a woman, man, a woman is cruel, man. That's why, like right here, hold, hold everything you got. In Isaiah 3 and 17, it says, Therefore the Lord will smite smite with they scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. The most I already knows you're wicked, man. You try to be secretive and whatnot, you think you're crafty? You're, man, we are, but the spirit of Yahweh has already revealed you, man. We already know about you women. Why you bald-headed? You know? Why you stink? Why no man wants you? Because you're a rebellious woman, man. But sneaking back on point, the most side deals with men, not women. So uh, go ahead and read 1 Corinthians again, that last scripture. That last 1 Corinthians 14, yeah, where it says, where? 1 Corinthians 14 and uh, 36. Uh, you want me to start again? Just the one where it says what it came out of you. 1 Corinthians 14 and 36. What? Came the word of God out from you, or came it unto you only? If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge the things that are right unto you. Right, so any, if any of you men are offended in what we're saying, if you're a spiritual man, you would obey that commandment. That's why, man, you people don't understand how, uh, uh, how serious it is to keep the commandments. Because why, you think the Lord's in heaven saying like, oh, well, I want, I, I want to see if those women or men because every, every time we come across you men and women, what do y'all say? That's the Old Testament. But wh wh why, is, why do y'all say 